This is Dr. Lewis Maltzmacher, and let's talk to you about uh, how to give a comfortable injection, because that is so important for you and your patients. How do you give a comfortable injection that will really differentiate you as a great injector and a great provider of any injectables, including Botox, Xeomin, Dysport, Juvederm, Restylane, any of the different things that are out there, PDO thread lifts. Though, if you can deliver this more comfortably, patients will flock to you. There's not even a question about that. So what are some of the techniques Techniques that we teach in the AAFE and some of the techniques that we use all the time in our own offices for our own patients here. Number one, uh, learn to give a comfortable injection. It takes some practice, but talk anesthesia. There's a way you talk to patients that calms them down and makes this for a very comfortable injection. A lot of this, this is mental. There's no question about it. And it's emotional. And if you've got a nice, calm manner about you, certainly there are ways to talk. And I always tell people when you go to an AAFE training course, the live patient training course, listen to the way that our faculty talk to the patients, calms them down, makes them comfortable because before they get the injections. It helps a lot. It's called talkesthesia and it really helps quite a bit. Uh, other ways to go ahead, distraction. If you ever see me and again, a lot of our AFE faculty at courses, while someone may be injecting and practicing their injections of Botox and dermal fillers, we're pressing on the patient's shoulder. Classic distraction and the patient is thinking. I'm talking about a good, push, by the way. It's a good push. And they're thinking, why are they pushing on my shoulder? The more they think about other things, the less they actually think about the injection. And I cannot tell you how many patients, even in our own practices and our own training centers, that go ahead and say, boy, that really helps when you really push. And again, it's a really good push. That's another way. Ice uh, certainly is a good way to kind of numb the area quickly before any kind of a Botox or dermal filler injection. Certainly you can give local anesthesia, and we use that depending on the patient. We certainly use that uh, in numbing some of the areas of entry for PDO threat lifts. That's a great way to do this also. Now, your choice of how you reconstitute the botulinum toxins, Botox, Xeom, and Dysport, that is also going to be very important. So we use a certain kind of saline that if you use that, it's a much more comfortable injection because it has got an agent in there that is a little bit of an anesthetic. And I can tell you, I can tell immediately when someone uh, either gets on our AAFE member forums or email tells me a question and says, you know, I gave uh, this botulinum toxin injection. It was really stinky to the patient. I know immediately they did not use the kind of sterile saline that we use in our training. So that, you know, that your choice, you've got to know your materials. I think that's really important. Yeah, and it's talking about the materials, it's also the injection syringe. The injection syringe that you use, super important. And that's why in the AAFE training, we only use the Comfortox syringe. It is made, and it's made Comfortox, meaning comfortable uh, tox injection, injectable injection uh, for any of your botulinum toxins there. By far, it's 31 gauge, it's got a super sharp techno technology with a multi-bevel that was designed just for for us and along our specifications, patients love it. They barely feel any of the injections going in. You can get that at a new bio.com or at statdds.com. Both of them will carry the Comfortox line of, of injections for especially botulinum toxin. The other thing to do now, let's go to the filler side, is cannulas. And cannulas are great, specifically micro cannulas are fantastic because it is less bruising, patients feel it less, and this is for the delivery of fillers, of any of the dermal fillers that are out there. And Comfortox also designed its own line of microcannulas along the same technology and the success that they had with the Comfortox syringes for all the botulinum toxin injections there. So cannulas are great. You've got to get trained on it because they, there is a technique involved to use it. But only, we only use in our training, again, the entire Comfortox line of microcannulas and Comfortox syringes, which again, you can get at a new bio.com, A N E W B I O.com, or stat DDS, S T A T D D S. Dot com. So I hope that's helpful to you. Learn to be a great, comfortable injector, and patients will come to you time and again. And certainly, we hope to see you at an AAFE live patient training injectable course real soon.